In this video, we're going to learn a bit more about Red Solomon encoding. That's the forward error control method that's associated with QR codes. It works by adding extra bits to data so that errors can be corrected, and it's a lot more powerful than parity. It deals with errors that have been accidentally introduced when data is transmitted. In physical media, this could be a scratch on a CD, DVD, or Blu-ray disc, or a tear or dirt on our QR code. In both these cases, Reed Solomon should correct the error so that our disc plays and our QR code still scans. Note that forward error control, FEC, can also be called channel coding. The additional bits that are added to allow errors to be corrected are not directly useful to the user. The code rate tells us how much useful data has been sent. For example, if we have a 5x5 five five parity grid, 25 bits of the data are useful, and a further 11 bits are used for error correction. This gives us a code rate of 25 over 36, or 69.4%. Note that in our parity example, we can only correct one error. If we have no error control, then our code rate is 100%. If we use ARQ, Automatic Repeat Request, then our code rate is 50% at best, because the original incorrect order was half of the data that was sent, and that first half was not useful. We also have some additional codes so that the error can be detected. Reed Solomon can correct half the number of extra bits that have been added. So if we were to add 14 additional bits, we could correct seven errors. Reed Solomon can detect the same number of bits that have been added. So if I add 14 bits, it can detect 14 errors. Or if you prefer, it can detect twice as many errors as it can correct. Add 14 bits, correct seven errors, detect 14 errors. Here is a table that summarizes the numbers on the preceding slide. In this case, our Reed Solomon example assumes we have 50 bits of useful data and we've added another 50 bits for error control. When it comes to QR codes, we've got four different encoding options ranging from numeric numbers, alphanumeric letters and numbers, bytes, and kanji. There's also 40 possible sizes called versions and four levels of error control ranging from low, where we can only have 7% corruption, to high, where 65% of the data that we're sending is involved with error correction, but we can have up to 30% errors and they will still be corrected. You might wish to add this table into your notes. In summary, Read Solomon is a powerful method for correcting errors. The code rate is adjustable, and the more bits we add, the lower the code rate, but the higher the ability to deal with adjacent bits being corrupted, which means that if we have a low code rate, chances are dirt and scratches on a physical media can still be corrected.